Hi, I'm Gary. You may be using Lime Survey to create your research survey questionnaire, maybe for your business, and it's not altogether evident how to add a seven point like its scale. So for example, you might like to say, tell me on a scale of one to seven how much you agree with the following statement. Let me show you in Lime Survey how we can do this quite simply. Going across to Lime Survey, and I'm in my university uh, Lime Survey account at the moment. Yours might look different, but it'll be something fairly similar. So we'll just create the survey. So this is creating the outside survey, and we can call it anything we want. Now I'm going to use the example of Ferris Bueller. It was a big movie in the 1980s. Um, so I'm just messing around here, but you, you would obviously have your valid questions. So let's call this Ferris Survey, just for example. It, it could be anything. And we'll click Save. Now, once we've actually created the survey, we get various settings. I'm not going to go through that now, but you can go through these various settings. What's important is once we've created the survey, and I'm just going to click the little cross there. Once we've created the survey, we need to add groups, groups into which we add questions. And we'll do that right now. But what for some reason some people don't seem to know in Lime Survey is you can just click the little um, breadcrumbs up the top here to go backwards if you really need to. So we could go back to the survey list and so on. Anyway, we need to add this the group. So we'll just click add question group for now. And we can call this anything we want to. I'll just call this group one. Um, and we can always go back and rename it. But but soon you'll see uh, what's what's sort of going on. So once we've created that structure, we'll see in a second. There we go. And we can create many other groups here. But we're going to add our question into this group. So if I click on as I'm looking at the screen on the left hand side, group one. Immediately it says add a new question to the group. So let me click the plus to add a new question. Now I'd add my uh, question here. And in this case, my question is going to be something like, um, how much do you agree with each statement? Because remember, I'm doing that seven point like at scale. And it might be a bit fuzzy at the moment what I'm doing, but it'll make sense in, in, in a few seconds. And we need to add a code here. So I'll just call this uh, FER1, for example, for this for this question. The important thing here is because we're using that seven point Likert scale, I keep repeating it, we need to change the question type from long free text or whatever it says to be array. Now, if you look under array, you get the five point, the 10 point, but there's no seven point. So I'm going to just click Array for now and click Select. I can make it mandatory if I want to. I would usually make that mandatory. That's up to you. Now let me click Save. So there's still, there's still th two things we need to do. We need to add the uh, seven items because it's a seven point Likert scale. And we need to add the questions or the, the questions we're asking so that people re can respond uh, from one to seven, for example. Just a tip, when you're under structure, when you've clicked on your group, you'll see here that Lime Server actually tells you what to do. Warning, you need to add answer options and you need to add sub questions. So the first thing I'm going to do is add answer options. And those are my seven answer options. So I could either click here, you need to add answer options, or I could click to the top, to the right of the screen, um, edit answer options. So let me click on that. Right, so I could manually add however many I want, or I can quite simply click predefined label sets. And if I click the down arrow, you'll notice there are a lot of different options. But if I type in here LIK for Likert scale, for example, and I scroll down just a little bit, you'll see there are two different types of um, Likert scale here. The importance I would use if I was saying, for example, if my questions were something like, um, how important do you think airbags are in a car? And then the person could do it on a scale of one, you know, unimportant to, to seven, very important. But I'm asking how much are they in, in agreement? So um, I'll click agreement in this case. It comes up in Dutch first. I'll just change or, or click on the English to see it. And you'll see that people will then get the answer to, to agree from strongly disagree right up to strongly agree. I can click add or replace. Usually I'll click replace, but let me just show you why I'll click replace. So I'll click add. So if I click add, it adds the responses to those that I already have. But remember, it automatically gave me an empty response. So in this case, I'll just click delete to delete that. Always remember to save. So I've done my answer options. Let me just go back, click on 
this question. So how much do you uh, how much do you agree with each statement? And it's saying to me you need to add sub questions. Okay. So I could either click sub questions here or just click right over here. So I'm going to sorry, I'll just check and you can see my mouse. Um, I'm just going to click uh, click there. Now I can add different questions and you'll see then how it appears. So let me just uh, I'm just going to copy and paste from my screen various ones. Let's add a few questions. So the first one Ferris is a righteous dude. Uh, and we'll just add two more questions. I'm clicking the plus. You can also delete questions. And these are all variations of saying in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the movie. And last but not least, Ferris is a hero. So we're asking people how much do they agree with these statements. And we can add more questions if we want to. I'll click save and close for now. We've now set it up. So we set up our survey. Uh, we set up a group. We then set up our um, our, uh, uh, our question, our answer options, uh, one to seven, and our actual sub questions, uh, Ferris is a hero and so on. So just to show you how that looks, I'm going to click preview question. We'll wait for that to load up. And there you can see it is. So there my options are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that people can answer. There are those different questions I actually asked them. So Ferris is a righteous dude. Oh, we've got to agree to that, strongly agree. It's important to say Ferris, is it? Oh, it is definitely strongly and Ferris is a hero. Absolutely. Um, what we would do in our survey, we would complete it, go through the various options, add other questions as necessary, and then we'd go live with it. And that's all we would do. So thanks for joining me. Please like this video.